From an unidentified green orb to full on space pee, here are the top five terrifying secrets astronauts don't want you to know. Number five on this list is that green orb. Major Gordon Cooper was one of the earliest American astronauts there was. He was the last astronaut to ever fly in space completely by himself, a feat that's honestly just terrifying if you ask me. While he was out there in space, Cooper saw something that he couldn't explain and something that just doesn't make any sense. It was a rapidly approaching green orb. Something that was actually picked up by the radar system that was tracking him in Australia. He couldn't fully make out what it was, but he knew that it was a big object and that it was glowing green. Cooper has since come out and discussed his strong belief in UFOs and aliens. It turns out that UFO sightings are not as uncommon as we may think for astronauts or the government. That these sightings happen very frequently and are very often covered up. For many years I have lived with a secret, and a secrecy imposed on all specialists in astronautics. I can now reveal that every day in the USA, our radar instruments capture objects of form and composition unknown to us. And there are thousands of witness reports and a quantity of documents to prove this, but nobody wants to make them public. Why? Because authority is afraid that people may think of God knows what kind of horrible invaders. So the password still is, we have to avoid panic by all means. Now that's a direct quotation from Major Gordon Cooper discussing the truth behind his sighting and many other sightings that the government makes on the daily. If this is factual and the government actually does see these anomalies all the time, then it's totally reasonable to believe Cooper saw a real life UFO while he was in space that time. It should also be noted that when he landed he was told that reporters were not allowed to ask him about his sighting and to keep it under wraps. Seems to me like these astronauts and the government know some stuff that they don't want getting out. Number four on this list is Space Snakes. Franklin Story Musgrave is a former NASA astronaut who spent over 53 days in space. He's extremely intelligent, having six separate degrees, and definitely knows about space since he went on six separate missions there. That's why when he came out and spoke about seeing a massive space-like eel up there, it really shocked the world. On two of my missions, and I still don't have an answer, I have seen a snake out there. Six, seven, eight feet long. It's rubbery because it has internal waves in it and it follows you for a rather long period of time. The more you fly in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there and that sort of brings to you really a certainty that other living creatures are out there. Some incredibly primitive, more primitive, some just proteins coming together, amino acids, and some just single cell organisms and other civilizations that have been around for a million years that are doing unimaginable kinds of things. Six, seven, eight feet long. You heard that right, guys. I know that he goes on to talk about proteins coming together and stuff, but that seems like a lot more than just a few amino acids to me. That's a big creature that he saw, not only one time, but on two very separate and different occasions. This is a full-on NASA astronaut who is super well-educated, coming out and talking about a massive eel in space. Now, he's the only one who's come out and spoken about such things, however, there was a picture released from the Mars rover with potential evidence of a snake. Take a look at that image right there. That looks a lot like a snake to me, and if there's one chilling on Mars, then there's no reason to think that there couldn't be one in space either. If this is true, then more astronauts definitely must know about this and they must be trying to keep it under wraps for a reason. Maybe they don't want the public to freak out about these space snakes, maybe they're just scared of them themselves and aren't ready to release the info yet. But whatever the case may be, it's starting to look like our slithering pals aren't just here on Earth. Number three on this list is the fake moon landing. Now before I continue with this entry, I do just want to say that we are entering theoretical land right now. Personally, I think the moon landing was real. I'd like to believe that humans made it to the moon back in 1969. Like that just seems really cool to me and I do think that it actually happened. However, if for instance the moon landing was fake, just going down this rabbit hole for a second, if the moon landing was fake, then that would automatically be a really scary secret that astronauts don't want us to know about. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are two of the most well-known names in history and certainly the most well-known astronauts. Well, if the moon landing was fake, then these guys were obviously in on it. In fact, all of NASA would have been in on it. 
Close to 20% of Americans still think that the moon landing was faked and that it was just one big elaborate fib. The biggest argument that moon landing conspiracy theorists have is that America had a massive motive to beat the Soviet Union there, and also that there would have been film technology good enough to fake the entire thing. This isn't necessarily proof though, it's just kind of speculation and that's why personally I do think that the moon landing happened. But on the off chance that these conspiracy theorists are correct and the moon landing was actually fake and was just actually doctored footage, then that may just be the biggest secret that astronauts don't want us to know about. Number two on this list is Space P. Okay, okay, so I know how that sounds. No, I'm not talking about some evil urine alien that somebody spotted or some massive pea planet. But uh, this entry is just more about how hard it is to actually live up there in space and the realities of the situation. Also, I guess this is less of a secret, but more of something that just doesn't get talked about enough considering how much it must suck. But listen to this statistic, guys. If you want to go into space and live up there for one year, which I frankly don't really understand why you would want to do, but anyways, let's assume that you do want to do that. If you want to go live there for one year, then you're going to need to drink 730 liters of your own urine and sweat. 730 liters. That is 730 milk bags worth of your own excrement that you now need to consume. Now I obviously have to point out that this is recycled urine and recycled sweat so you don't need to just pee in a cup and then take a sip or anything like that. But this just goes to show how difficult it is to come by water in space. It's so difficult to get water that we literally need to constantly reuse what we have in our bodies already. Like you basically never get any new water in your system for an entire year if you go to space. You're just reusing the old water over and over and over again. Honestly, after hearing this stat guys, I have no idea how these billionaires think that we're getting to Mars. Like sure, build a ship that can take us there, manufacture a shelter that could withstand the elements, but how about water dudes? You know that thing that we need? I don't want to move to Mars and just live off of pee for the rest of my life. Anyways, big respect to the astronauts out there who have to do this for a whole year. You guys are way stronger than me. Finally, number one on this list is changing DNA. This one is definitely a weird one and honestly pretty scary. Ranker writes, astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent a year at the International Space Station in 2016, returned to find that he was two inches taller than his departing height. The new physical differences between Kelly and his identical brother Mike, also an astronaut, were startling. Scientists compared the DNA of the two and found that, besides growing two inches, Kelly's gut bacteria were completely different and his gene expression had changed. Scientists concluded that the changes were caused by the stresses of space travel, which can cause changes in a cell's biological pathways. Although Kelly eventually returned to his original height, his other genetic changes are seemingly irreversible, meaning Kelly and his brother are no longer identical twins. So that's honestly pretty insane. If we go to space, our DNA can just literally change on us. Obviously we have no idea how this works, but think about the potential that this could have. Is it possible to harness this ability? To be able to send someone into space and cure a disease that they were born with? Like this truly feels like some Fantastic Four level stuff right here where we can actually change our human makeup. Granted, we need to look at it from the other angle as well. Could this be extremely detrimental? Yeah, I think it definitely could. You could go into space and then have your DNA totally change on you in a way that's for the worse, causing you lifelong problems after that. I had no idea that this was something that could happen in space, but it's definitely something that we need to do some more research on because like, it could be wild. Well, there you have it guys. That is our list of the top five terrifying secrets astronauts don't want you to know. Please comment down below what you thought about this list and some other secrets that you've heard about that I didn't bring up. Please also hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>